Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 3.20 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. 3.20 in the morning. Or should I say 3.20 in the middle of the night? It is early. And if you, I'm doing this video so early, you know I found a good video. You, you know I got something that I really want to talk about. My good buddy, Nick Fuentes. And let me say this. Nick Fuentes, he is looking just adorable. He is just such a little cutie pie. Nick, if you're watching this, come sit in my lap. He, he looks so cute. He's wearing a hoodie. I'll use this as my thumbnail. He's wearing a hoodie. Who wears a hoodie inside anyway? And what's the purpose of wearing a hoodie? It's like wearing sunglasses. I, I, I was trying to think, why, why would somebody put a hoodie on inside? Uh, unless, he's, unless he just rolled out of bed. I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, he just, he looks so freaking adorable. He reminds me of this girl. Uh, I got a friend on Facebook. That she's, a, she's a college girl. And she always wears a backwards baseball cap. Different, different ones. And she wears them backwards. And she pulls her, her little blonde hair, like a little tuft hanging out the front. And she looks so cute like that. And that's what Nick reminds me of in this video. He is just such a little cutie pie. He's, he's converting me, man. Yeah, call me Nick. We'll do some, we'll, we'll hang out. We'll do man stuff together. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Okay, so, so Nick has got some ideas here. And uh, the, the, there'll be two videos right on top, down below. So you can watch these videos of Nick Fuentes. And I got some thoughts. Uh, he, he's got some ideas on how to solve all the ills of America. It, real quick. And he is, he's confident and he's sure of this. He's, he's got some really strong ideas. And I, I want to address what he has to say here. Uh, the first video talks about, I think it's about uh, immigrants. And he says something about dropping a 50-foot electrified fence with gun turrets on it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even say this seriously. It sounds like a 14-year-old boy. And then, and then all the people that are here that are here illegally, they're gonna, we're going to cat catapult them out to space. <laughs> how, how old is this guy again? Anyway, so uh, he says that's great for day one. Okay, so that's, that'll, that'll address the illegal immigrants. But what are you going to do about crime? What are you going to do on day two? Okay, so he says on day two, you really got to put some boots on the ground because there's still going to be a very diverse, he uses that exact word, there's, we're going to still have a very diverse crowd here in America. Ah, And he says, you know, so what are you going to do about this diverse crowd? And then he mentions the problems of looting he says that repeatedly in smash and grabs. I don't know. I since I've I've lived in Connecticut, I can't. I've never seen looting in my life here in Connecticut, uh, New York, anywhere around here. Uh, I don't know where all this this looting and these these smash and grabs are going on. But anyway, Nick has got some great ideas to solve this. Put boots on the ground. The FBI, uh, Department of Homeland Security. CIA, uh, the National Guard, the Army, put them all boots on the ground. And he says, the first days are going to be brutal. But you got to do that. You got to crack down. Okay, this is uh, his idea to solve crime. You got to go into the cities of, he, he names New York, Chicago, and San Francisco. Okay. And he says, you just, you just got to go in there. And people are going to you know, complain. But you got to go in there and just, just... I gotta watch my language here, and Pete, you know, just uh, you know, kind of have snipers, and boom, you know, blow people's heads apart. Uh, you know, excuse, that's, this is Nick Fuente saying this, not me. You know, he says you just gotta go in and do this. Then he kind of imitates what uh, these these looters and these smash and grab people in these specific these diverse people in. New York, Chicago, and San Francisco, what they would say. He imitates them. He goes like this. I bet. I, I bet. You know, like he's, he's, he's pretending to be them. I wonder who, who is he trying to imitate there? Oh, man, I, I don't know. Anyway, so, you know, go in there and, you know, and he's just, he's, he's really, he's just making faces like this. And just, bam! You know, you got to go in and you just got to do this. <sighs> this is Nick Fuentes, you know, so and, and we can get, get rid of crime real quick. Just, just, just like Donald Trump could solve the whole Russian-Ukraine thing in 24 hours. I saw a good, I'll, I'll put this link down below as an extra. 
uh, Klepper, uh, Gordon, Jordan Klepper, is that his name? He's interviewing uh, MAGA people at the, the, the two rallies in South Carolina, little gatherings at South Carolina in uh, New Hampshire. And uh, you got to hear some of these people. I'll put this, I'll put the link down below. Uh, so what some of these people are talking about, uh, they, they, they think the Ukraine, because they watch uh, News America or News One or News America. Uh, they, they think that the Ukraine war is all just made up. It's, it's, and then they're totally serious when they say this. So anyway, I started thinking about this. So basically, you would throw the whole innocent until proven guilty that our whole entire country was based on. And freedom of religion, because he talks about converting everybody to Christianity. He says we need new, we need more graveyards, more jails, and more churches. This this is Nick Fuentes solving America's ills, uh, and convert everybody to Catholicism or to Christianity. I'm sorry. So I guess you know, for since America was founded, we're just going to toss out freedom of speech. We're going to toss out the whole the guilty or innocent until proven guilty. Um, what he was describing there, it came, it's kind of funny because he, he says, oh, forget about China and Russia. And I started thinking, I was like, he's kind of, isn't that what they do in China? Isn't that, or more and more really, what they do in North Korea? You know, they just brutally oppress the people and there's no crime. Of course there's no crime. People don't want to, you know, have their heads blown apart on the sidewalk or say the least wrong thing. And so what he's really describing there is China. It is a fascist communist country really that that's his his idea to solve the ills of america you know and as i watch him honestly i, I he to me he sounds like a 14 year old he sounds like a juvenile that just watched uh robocop for the first time you know man their heads exploded it was awesome we ought to do that oh here's another interesting too thing too he mentions catholic converters he says uh so when he imitates uh these these people, whoever he's imitating, you know, I bet, you know, he, uh, he, he says, you know, he talks about Catholic and people taking Catholic converters and running down the street and then the FBI, the Homeland Security, uh, all these people, the boots on the ground, the jack boots on the ground to solve America's problems, you know, they're just going to, their heads are going to explode. I started thinking about that too. You know, if somebody took my Catholic converter, I'm going to talk about that more in a second. You know, you know, I would be, man, if I went out and my car was jacked up and my cat, my cat was gone, I would be livid. Would I be mad enough to, to do that, you know, to do, you know, if I caught somebody out there? Really? How much does a catalytic converter cost? 1500 You know, it would, would I, you know, would I, is it, would I be that mad that my part of my exhaust of my car is gone? So I'm going to take somebody's most cherished thing in their life you know what i really you know is it really worth that anyway so he starts talking about you know these specific cities new york chicago and san francisco democrat cities i started thinking about this i live in bristol connecticut and it's been a, it was a mostly we a democrat city up until the 2021 election or 2020 2021 the links will all out the links for this all down below i moved here two years ago and i didn't hear of any crime i was amazed for the first uh, i think it was eight or nine months almost a little less than a year nothing i didn't hear i swear on the bible not i didn't hear anything i don't have the exact crime statistics for 2020 but this the, the links for this will be right down below but when that republican mayor took over in 2021 you guys know what happened we had two police officers gunned down republican mayor we had a police car just stolen a month or two ago and then drove into the front of a diner bought shots fired all this other stuff the link will be right down below uh in my own parking lot right here in one week we had four cars broken into and three cars stolen hadn't happened for the two years before that but just about a month ago Three cars stolen out of the secured parking lot in one week. Uh, what else? Uh, catalytic converters, stolen cars, police, uh, dead. Oh yeah, the dead bodies uh, that uh, that were found here. Links are all down below. Republican mayor now, Democrat mayor before. No crime, no crime. Uh, hey, I'm I'm not saying nothing. This is just an observation I made. 
I'm not saying there wasn't any crime before, but it certainly looks like there's a, a whole lot of crime now that there's a Republican mayor. Uh, you know, and I just want to write Nick Fuentes off. I mean, honestly, he just sounds like an immature. I can't believe this guy's 23 years old. He sounds like a 14-year-old. Like I said, he sounds like a 14-year-old that just saw his first, uh, I was going to say Charles Bronson, but that's kind of old. I don't know, his first Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Uh, you know, or his first RoboCop movie. Man, it was so cool. You know, that's honestly, that's what he sounds like. I want to write him off. But then I remember this is who Trump went out to, to took to, to dinner. You know, he, this guy had a former president here and the guy that's going to run for president, who people are actually going to vote on, sat down and listened to this guy, this guy that just, all these stories that I'm telling you, know, the, these, these solutions that he has for America, he sat down with Donald Trump. So he had Trump's ear for a day. And then I don't, I don't think, I, you know, I don't take, I don't take Nick Fuentes so lightly anymore. Links will all be down below, including the stats here in Bristol. And that cute little adorable Nick Fuentes, he's just such a cutie. Call me Nick.